Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's lecture, lecture 13, we are going to talk about emotes. Since in lecture 12 or the previous lecture, we learned how to create NPC, today we are going to make them perform emotes. Now, this requires scripting, which is not going to be very hard. I already have a code sample or code snippet for you to use. Um, so let's get started. First, let's locate the characters folder and in here we can create the script or you can have a folder called scripts and you can put it inside of it. It's really up to you. But in this case, I'm going to put it inside the characters folder. So right click, create, high raise, oh sorry, Lua, and then client. And you give this um, a name, for example, NPC emote, you call it anything. Now what client, what, what client script does is basically make the things happen on the client itself. There's a client, there's server, and there's server client. Client means that, for example, if you are on your PC right now, you are on your own client, but if you're playing online with someone, they are on their own client as well, but there's a server connecting you both. That's what client and server means. Whatever happened on your PC happens on your PC. That's because you're, it's your client. Whatever happened on their PC happens on their PC because it's their client. But if you put a server inside or like in between and you connect both, whatever happened on your PC would show on their PC and uh, the opposite. Does that make sense? Anyway, we are, that's not our main subject today. So let's go to the main character and we're going to scroll or just minimize these and we're going to drag the uh, script and put it as a component into the character uh, or the main character object just like that now that's done we are going to right click on the npc emote to open it okay and i'm going to get this lecture 13 right here so it's in the beginner guide lecture 13 emotes i'm going to scroll down and i have a code written for you here already uh, i will explain a bit in a second but i'm just going to go ahead and copy it and i'm going to put it Right here, just make sure you remove the first uh, line. There you go. Now what this basically does, it creates um, a table that stores the emotes ID, which we want to play. And it has um, a, a boolean that says is loop, means if, meaning if it's set to true, the emote will always uh, keep looping. And when the server, uh, when the script is awake, when the game starts, we basically get the character for that object, and then um, if there's no character, or if there's no NPC, we just return an error. And then we have a function that plays the emote. We say here, if we don't have any emotes in the emotes table, we are just not going to play any emote. And then we get a random emote index, which is going to be any emote we have inside the table, and we just perform it on the player. And whenever the emote ends, if we have the is loop enabled, it's just gonna play the emote again. And here we call the function again to play it whenever the uh, the script, uh, well, whenever the game starts. This is basically it. Um, I did explain it a little bit fast. You don't have to really understand every single line of code because this um, video is basically about how to make them perform the emotes. Now, that's done. We go to the main character now. And in here, you can see that we have is loop and we have emotes ID. So if you want is loop, you can check it out. Now, where to get the emotes ID from? Now, there's um, the best way is to go to the main character outfit um, and get them from here. If you don't have this main character outfit, I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you how to open it again. You go to characters, outfits, and then main character outfit. And in here, if you open the emote selector, you can see here that each emote has an ID. So if I select any emote, for example, let's um, well, let's go with any um, anything. For example, the grave dance. Uh, you can view the emote here, and you can just copy the ID right here, right? So that's how you do it. And then you go to scene, um, or sorry, the main character, and then you just click plus here, and you add the emote like that. And you can do this with um, pretty much every every emote. So for example, model, just copy the ID, put plus here, and just put it again. And you just keep doing this until you are until you have a like a, a list of emotes that you're satisfied with. Anyway, so now we have three emotes. Control S to save, 
and we go back to scene and let's start our game there you go you see this is the emote that we set and we also set it a loop meaning that whenever this emote ends it's gonna start a new random emote it could be the same emote who knows but um we know that it's gonna be random so this is how you perform emotes on npcs and um if you have any question please let me know in the comments below or on discord and if you have any since this is the end of the lectures if you have any suggestion for the new lectures please let me know and in the next lecture we are gonna explain how you can upload worlds into high rise into the app